guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all okay. Thanks for joining me today. This is part two in the series on the in Rico TM7, which is the mobile network radio I reviewed recently. So if you've not um, already seen part one, the link is in the description below, and um, go and check that out, and you'll have a bit more of an idea what this device is all about. So it's basically a PTT Android device which runs over 4G, uh, sorry, over 3G uh, and below, and Wi-Fi. And it basically allows you to use various apps such as Zello, um, FRN and TeamSpeak to communicate in groups and one-on-one -on -one, uh, over that infrastructure, i.e. Wi-Fi and cellular. And this is a great sideline to radio at the moment for a lot of people. This sort of technology has become really big if you follow some of the Facebook groups and even some of the amateur radio groups. Um, these are really starting to take off, uh, mainly in the form of the handheld, but a lot of people are talking about this at the moment as well, and it's what I've recently picked up. So, this um, is part two, and this is all about Zello. So, I'm going to bring the camera in and just show you how Zello works and basically what it's all about, and how you can talk one-on-one uh, -on -one and in group chats on uh, on that piece of software. Okay, so like on all these devices, you've got the Google Play Store. So, if you just click on that. You can then search at the top for Zello. And it will come up at the top. And you can just download the app there. You see that's what it looks like. You can just download the app there, which I've already done, and you can start to run it. Now, Zello is a free application, so it's as easy as just entering your email address, your name or username, and setting a password, and you're set up and ready to go. So I won't go into too much detail on that, but when you've downloaded the app, it'll appear on your desktop, and it will look something like that, but you won't have any recents, uh, any contacts, or any channels in there, because it's new. Um, you just sign in with the details you set up. So you can see on this device here, I'm um, in Rika, sorry, I'm uh, RM Comms TM7. So I'm already signed in. So you just need to sign in with your device. You can see on the F22 here, we're signed in as RM Comms. So there's two separate accounts here, so these devices will talk to each other. So you can have it as your call sign. I have got another account that's uh, just my call sign. So you can set up uh, an account name to be anything you want. So. In the main Zello um, software, you can add channels. So you'll see here it says find a channel, trending channels, um, scan QR code or create your own channel. So you can find a channel. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to search for a channel that I want to add. So you can just search the keyword radio and anything related to radio will come up. There's obviously a lot of rubbish in there as well, but you can just filter out what you need. Uh, scanner feed. All those search things will bring back some great groups. So I'm going to search for the Outpost Radio Network. <clears throat> but I'm just going to go for the one at the top there, which is the one I want, which is Outpost Radio Network. So it's a 24-7 worldwide DXN channel combining radio and an internet repeater. Weekly nets, Wednesday and Sunday, 7 p.m. UK time. So I'll click on that, and you can see, add it to contacts, and it'll ask you if you want to receive images from the channel or receive alerts from the channel. I just click in the middle of the screen and that goes off. So um, I was a part of this channel, and I just deleted it to show you this video, so um, only moderators can hear me till they make me a trusted user. So I'll see if anybody's on. Uh, is anyone around to make me trusted? I'm 3HHY. Nice to give a bit of call sign protocol just so people know who you are. Um, so once I'm accepted into that group, um, I'll see all the users on there and I can start talking to people. So you've got a little blue on sign there, which you just click to connect and disconnect from the channel. Um, you've got group settings here, so that's what we just went through where you can receive images from the channel, so you can just click that and select no. Uh, receive alerts from the channel, you can click to select yes or no, and then just click in the middle screen to come off that. And uh, that's the logo for the channel there. So if I go back to the main menu on my channels list, you'll see the three channels that I've got on this uh, device. The first one is the Outpost Radio Network. Now you'll see the little power button there is blue, which means I'm connected to all channels. So I'll receive anything that's coming through on those channels. You can just touch the little logo there to turn it white. And that means I'm now disconnected from that channel. So I won't hear any traffic from that channel. Ringway Manchester 1A, I showed you in, in part one. Again, please don't add this, guys, because it's just uh, for testing. But you can see I'm a part of that channel there, 
and there's two users online there's this one and this user here and i can talk, I can talk through that channel through that channel slight little delay there because of the uh, the network but it doesn't cause any issues at all um and yeah you can talk as uh, you can talk on on a group there so you can add all sorts of stuff the scanner the scanner feeds and um, there's all sorts of things going on let me see if i've got one going on here i've got one on, on here sussex down radio link been learning the code and programming and and all the stuff that goes with it and going up the hills and i was going to have fun and they didn't want me to have fun they wanted me to um buy the machine pay for everything and, and shut shut the f up and uh <laughs> Uh, no. Okay, so that's that. It's the same principle on this on this device. That's that channel. That's the Sussex Down Radio Link, and we had K six KRI KRI talking there. Um, and you can do the exact same on here. And um, if you want to replay a message, you just click on the little arrow button there. And I can talk, I can talk. through that channel. Through that channel. And it'll replay that message. If you click on history there, you've got any recent transmissions, so you can just go back and play those. Those are all stored, so you can just go through and uh, and play them. So, yeah, quite handy. So that's how channels work. I hope that made sense, guys. Um, I'm rubbish at explaining stuff like that, but that's how channels work. So you can add channels. You can set up your own channels. So if we click on that button there again and click on Create New Channel, you can just name a new channel and you can then um, invite members to it. So if I go back to my channel, the Ringway Manchester one, um, and click on the little head there, it shows you the users um, and your contacts. And you've got um, various options for the group there. And you can add people into that channel um, by uh, clicking on their name and just adding them in. So that's uh, that's channels. Contacts, you can see what contacts I've got on here. So if I click on uh, the F22 again, I can talk to that device, as you can see. And then if I go on the F22 here and click on Lewis, the Enrico one, I can talk back. I can talk back. I can talk back. <clears throat> so that is talking device to device. Um, oops. So if I just go back, uh, back to contacts, you can click there and you can search a contact. So you can just search through people's names or um, usernames, call signs, and you can just add them. So it's really, really, uh, really, really simple. So you can see so these are some of the contacts I've got here. I've not got many on this device yet because I've only just started using it, but. There's uh, James uh, James Fletcher there, uh, YouTube um, YouTube channel, a good friend of mine. That's his uh, his device there. So, are you monitoring James? Now, I know for a fact he's out at the moment, so he won't reply. But you can see he's on standby there. But if he was around, he'd hear that message and he can come back to me. The good thing with this is when he gets back to his device, he'll see the missed message there and be able to call me back as well. So it's uh, it's really really. Um, handy um, you know on radio you actually miss uh, you actually miss stuff but on here you've got the uh, messages there uh, ready to play back so that's just a quick overview of Zello guys um, I hope I explained that well enough for you it's quite a simple um, piece of software to use quite a simple app to use um, and as I say you can add channels you can disconnect from channels and connect to them really easily um, and talk on them really easily and you can create your own which is great like I've done here with Ringway Manchester Oops. and you can also add contacts as well uh, as many contacts as you want you can talk to them you can add people into group chat so yeah it's really really good okay guys so I hope I explained that clear enough for you um, I'm rubbish at explaining stuff like that in detail but you get the idea uh, that is just a brief overview of Zello Trust me, I probably overcomplicated it. It's such a simple piece of software to use. Um, it's free as well, um, which what more can you ask for? And it'll link up any of these devices um, you know, without any issues. There's never any dropout. The system's always up. Um, it's brilliant. So yeah, really, uh, really handy bit of software. And it allows two people to communicate really easily with these devices. As I say, I know it's not radio. Um, a lot of people sort of a bit put off by these apps. It is only voice over IP. But as I said in the previous video, it's a great sideline to radio and a great option to use if you can't put antennas up, if you haven't got any radio coverage, if you live out in the sticks and there's no one around. It's great for keeping in touch with friends, family and other radio amateurs, which is what I do on the, on these devices. So 
I'll leave that one there guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, is it a good thing? Are these devices a good thing? Are they killing radio? Um, I've done a few videos lately um, that create a lot of discussion. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. Um, I, you know, I'm happy to, if you think it's a load of crap, a waste of money. Um, if you think Zello is awful, um, if you think these should go in the bin, um, like both ends, then drop me a comment in the box below. It's not a problem at all. I want um, I want to generate some really good discussion um, and sort of come up with some you know arguments for and against uh, using these things. I think it definitely has its place um, in the radio community and a lot of people are using these devices, a lot of people are talking about them, a lot of people are talking about this in Ricoh TM7 and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below guys, um, let's get some discussion going and um, see, what, uh, see what you guys are thinking. Um, I'll leave that on there, thanks very much, if you've not already checked out part 1, check it out. Part 3 um, will be coming shortly, I'll do a test with this and show you uh, me talking to um, a couple of people on it and see what you uh, what you think of the audio quality and things like that but thanks very much for watching i do appreciate it if you've not already subscribed hit the subscribe button and um, if you like this video then hit the thumbs up and definitely drop me a comment in the box below guys i'm dying to hear what you think of these uh, these devices um thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one seven three for now quick one guys if you've not already checked out ringway manchester 2 that's my second channel the link is in the description below and also on the screen here um, head over there, um, hit subscribe, run over 100 subscribers over there now, which is uh, which is brilliant. So um, head over there, see what you think. It's more of a sort of B-roll channel, very similar to this one. So if you like what you see on here, you're going to like what you see on there. Um, I still put 99% of my content on this channel anyway. Um, that one's just a sideline for stuff that doesn't really fit with this channel. So yeah, head over there, click subscribe um, and uh, stay tuned for more on there as well. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.